Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adrenan and we are back in the Aurora. I haven't really done too much more looking around because I know pretty much where I need to go. Um, it was the captain's quarters, I got that transmission. Um, let's see here. I found it the other day. Um, picking up a vein background. Radiation. Yes, but we already have the black box from what I recall. So, I don't know, maybe I'll go check that on the way out, but I'm not going to go there as a main thing. Um, but basically, somewhere in here, around, I think, day 42 is when I was supposed to get this. No, oh, no, it's right here. Um, Altera called, said that they have some information, um, about a blueprint, and it's in the captain's quarters. Um, so, basically, that's where we're gonna go, and... This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora... We're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're doing computer. A sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's the... leaving like in five minutes. All right. Well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if I say regular, she's like, "What's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here." The code should be two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay. Would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese! Okay. <laughs> you know who this is? This is actually Neebs Gaming. Um, they must have put this in here after Neebs Gaming did their series. Um, maybe I'll link to that in the uh, info things up over here in the corner here. Um, that is a pretty funny series. Uh, they've done a really good job at doing something interesting with Subnautica and many other games, like including Seven Days to Die. So, um, you should take check it out. Um, I've actually been taking some inspiration from them. So, anyway, um, that's what this was all about. So now we're here, and uh, let's try to get in there. Data downloads. What is this all about? Public documents. Terra Alms pa pamphlet. Charity is an archaic concept when it is the realism of today's. All Terrans have rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think our, ourselves as a philanthropic benevolence facilitation service promoting synergy between employer and employee or workforce. Okay. AA operates on a lottery system by investigating any number of credits. You will be entered into our prize draw. Larger investments yield a higher chance of winning. Your credits will go towards training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. Colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of maximum contract or minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. I don't know where I picked that up. I guess it's just something new that they added into the game here. I took this keep calm poster too, so yeah, I think it's kind of fun. All right, so I'm gonna open this door here. Okay, so it's two, six, seven, nine. What? It oh, must be this other one. This one by the scary stuff. Oh, Captain's quarters. Um, two, six, seven, nine. Here we go. Ooh. He's not got much more than anybody else. Abandon PDA. Press tab to view. Loading program. Craig McGill Simulator Rat. Size, one player. Captain Hot Dog Holster. So it looks like he's... You are exploring a quaint alien backwater when the ship you ha arrived on implodes. It must be erect the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? And then he's got some options. Looks like he's 
farm alien plants. Uh, that just causes Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs, which will you sustain yourself with. Starwall eggs. While starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast spacefaring creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm, and besides, their mother is extremely angry at you with you. Accept your fate. He knows there is no reasoning with a mother scorn. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in the service of the star walls continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. Okay. Um, the Aurora must be a poster. The next phase of Aurora of Altera exploration. So it's like a new type of ship, I guess. No signal. Hmm. Uh, that's the black box over there. What we got here? Another med kit. Bleh, sure. Can always switch out of them. And this is a miniature model of the Aurora, so you can pick that up. Cool. Integrating new PDA data. So guys, if you didn't know, this is how you get the escape rocket. So I have not watched anything on this, it's just so the fact that I don't know anything about it, right? Um, which I think is great. Uh, this blueprint was discovered at Altera headquarters specifically to get you, or was developed, um, to get me off of the planet and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructed elements. Launch platform. Floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch a rocket. Um, gantry provides structural support. Stage one, primary thrusters for reaching atmospheric escape velocity. Fuel reserve and the cockpit. It features a one person life support, short range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, oh nice, uh, onboard time capsule. Okay. Warning. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Warning. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. So, probably the ion crystals. There you go. Equipment. Time capsule. The time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, the time capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking either the aid to aid their those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future or to leave evidence of the their plight which may be found found long after their bodies have been disintegrated or have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit and to be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. Given that um, previous thing about the um, Altera arms thing, kind of like, you know, why would you step forward and pass on, like, your trouble or, like, you know, make it easier for anybody else, you know, after you're dead? That part doesn't actually make much sense. Um, but there's a whole, like, Randy, Ayn Randian thing that um, I don't know that I'm going to get into. <laughs> um, I don't know. Personally, a better way, I think, of viewing morality. If you're not going to do religiously is multicellular organisms and how they survive. Um, because they rely on each other and pretty much they dominate. Like if you see any sort of eukaryotic or you you social organisms, they are pretty darned awesome, you know. But that's the reasons why our societies do better than individuals and what we can create and accomplish, right? That's just a tiny little bit of what that whole thought is, but that's okay. Um, so I don't think I need to be here anymore. 
Um, cabin one. I'm gonna figure out how to get into here real quick. Okay, 1869. Apparently, how to get into this room. Uh, okay. This may not be fully implemented. But I, I looked through all my stuff and I couldn't find anything. And then was looking at some forums, but apparently it's maybe not implemented. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, got that dude. BDA. I think I already have a cap. I have a carry-all. I don't really need anything in here. Oh. Oh, there are a cool kid toy or whatever. Okay, um, I'm gonna go see you guys at the base, I think, because I need to go get some magnetite and whatnot. So, be able to do further things. See you in a moment. Oh, I'm probably gonna check out this black box thing too, just to make sure that I have it. Um, so, Either way, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so here's the new uh, Neptune launch platform. So what does that take? That's um, does not, easy, not not bad, actually. That's pretty simple. Um, but there's a lot more to figure out on this planet. Plus, we're not going to be able to get out of here until we're safe and cured. Ooh, an ultra-high capacity thing. That's probably the one I got. No, it is not. Mm, just four lithium? Well, I'm going to be making that right away. Um, let's see here. What other upgrades? We do need one of these, and you know what? I could probably make one of those pretty quick. This is the magnetite, uh, but it's actually more for the one of these uh, depth module ones. Anyhow, um, we need to go rescue our cyclops, I think, first, because it's one of the things I just. <laughs> Uh, I really need to get this thing. I don't quite know. I gotta do some research on the crystalline sulfur, but uh, it's probably near some volcanoes, right? That's what I would think. Okay, I'm just gonna need to check to make sure that I have um, all the rest of my um, power supply stuff in order here, and uh, then we'll be pretty much good. Uh, the only other things I was thinking I might do is I might want to make some ion power uh, cells or something, right? But I don't know that I actually have that recipe yet. I thought I did, but maybe they changed the game again. They keep changing it and it's gonna only... I don't know, maybe there's only one more change. We'll see. Um, I have a ton of water, so let's try to uh, chug some of that back. Okay, so we have four power cells, so that should be enough to get us to get this uh, Cyclops also known as the tardigrade back online. Um, lithium, I need four of those little guys. Where are all my lithiums? There we go. Oh, and I have one magnetite. Well, I need a lot more, so I'll go get some. Two, three, four, perfect. So I'm gonna do that right away, and I don't really require all these, but I'll put these on the i will put one in all of my ships or something. Like one here. Just in case I need it. And... Yeah, let's make this ultra-high capacity tank. Uh, survival knife. Oh, really? Hmm, a thermal blade. Sure. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna make something different. Uh, and this air tank requires... Uh, I probably need to take it off of my person. There we go. I have no idea how much... Oh, that's pretty nice. Wow. Holy cow. That is awesome. Okay. So, um, I believe I'm ready to go and do some exploration. Um, yeah, I think this episode mostly I'm just going to rescue the tardigrade now, and then we'll call it. So, we're going to get that done. So yeah, once again, this is like a new thing. I've been stepping up things to record in 4K. Uh, this time I'm using a different program. I think it's still going to be slightly choppy every now and then. Um, but I've almost finished my upgrading to um, allow faster access to all my memory. So, 
Uh, that should almost be done. Uh, I, you know, still mostly be recording in 1080. Uh, so don't worry. Don't don't expect this kind of choppiness all the time. And um, so hopefully that goes well. I think the editing process will be a lot faster. That's sort of why I'm making this one in 4K so that I can test out to see that the editing is right because that's working in my um, upgraded OS. So we'll see. And yeah, the next major thing will be to uh, go down to those jelly shroom caves. Uh, I kind of forget where the entrance is, but I actually think it is somewhere between this and the last biome, to be honest. Um, I definitely haven't been there in a while, so I don't recall how to get there. Uh, but I'll try to find it off camera for you guys so that you don't have to uh, experience <laughs> wandering around in the ocean for hours. Um, you can hear the Reaper Leviathan. Now I recognize the sound a lot better. He'll be just out there somewhere. I come out of my ship this direction. That way I should be a lot safer. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's just out there somewhere. There you be. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you coming so close? Okay, well, I'm not putting both of these ships at risk. I'm going to put this one up over here. <laughs> and, uh... We are going to bap that guy if he comes close to us. It's all equipped, right? No, it's not. Boom. I'll bat him right out of the water if I have to. Alright, so... for exit. No, I'm not going to take all my power cells, just because I would rather not. Oh, I kind of want to just get him out of the way from here first. I doubt that does anything. It's too far away. Okay, let's just get this done quick. Oh my God, it's dark. Oxygen production. All fine. Okay, I'm just going to do this by sheer remembrance, uh, change, one of those in, one of those, that one is at zero, let's just get this thing out of this biome here, as quick as we can, uh, pilot, and an online. Uh, silent. And slow. We're just gonna get out of here if we can. Head towards these areas. Safer shoals, perhaps, we call them? I don't know. Okay, I think we're basically safe from the dang Leviathan. Alright, we can put it up in service. And there we go. A little more? More? Right there? Just stay there? There we go. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I really hope they fix this kind of stuff uh, between things, because this is just one of those last sort of silly things that they really need to fix. Okay, um. Wow, that is disorienting water surface moving around like that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get the, the other little guy and then we'll probably call it. There's that majestic ship. Okay, so there we go. Open up and dock, please. Thank you. Um, could have put a decoy in there. All my power cells are at various places getting charged, so. Um, 
That one's got no charge. Ah, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's... I gotta bring this thing closer to my bases, and then I'll get it all fixed up, and, um... That'll be that. Fifty-five percent power. Fifty-four. <laughs> it just runs out of power so quick. Maybe I'll uh, figure out how to get those ion batteries working, because that would be much better for this particular ship. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. We're going to do a bit more, because the launch date of Subnautica is getting close, and um, I also want to kind of finish the series, like I've been saying for a long time now. What did I just bang into? Okay. Um... Anyways, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully we'll find the Jelly Shroom Caves for a bit more magnetite, and um, other than that, we need to get ourselves cured, and then we will probably should be able to leave via the rocket um, to get back home. Oh, I don't know why you'd want to leave this planet. Let's bring some more people here. I like this planet. But that's just me. I love the ocean. So um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.